we need a new forage crop in Texas that, that fits our seasons and works for us in the summer. Uh, we have a lot of summer annual plants that we use. Uh, the grasses, we need, a, we need a forage legume that works in the summer like these grasses. Um, Lab Lab fits that bill. Lab Lab is a, a tropical legume. It grows in the summer in Texas. It's a, it's a great crop for cattle. Cattle are, it's very palatable. Cattle graze Lab Lab and do well on it. It's also a, a good plant for wildlife browse for white-tailed deer. It also fixes, fixes nitrogen and is, can be used as a cover crop. Uh, Lab Lab is, is a little different than and some of our other crops and also that it, seed can be produced in Texas. So it, it really gives us a, a value added part with the seed production in Texas. The current project on Lab Lab is to develop types that have really good disease resistance, that have drought tolerance, that have some other traits such as small seed size and really good seedling vigor that fit into our systems a little bit better. We've made crosses here in the greenhouse at Overton between uh, disease resistant, uh, anthracnose disease resistant lab lab and these, t these small seeded types that have deep rooting and are really closely related to wild lab lab. So we've crossed disease resistant lab lab with wild type lab lab and this is the plants that you see uh, behind me. They're segregating for a lot of different traits. They have different flower colors. Uh, the, the parents that we crossed were, were quite different and we see that as it, as it uh, shows in this, this is the third generation from the cross. And so what we're doing now is selecting for these types that have flowering that will fit Texas, that, and as we will grow these, the progeny of these plants from the greenhouse in the field, we'll be able to measure drought tolerance, we'll look at deep rooting, we'll look at seed production, that will, uh, that will help us provide a good seed crop uh, here in Texas. Okay, this is an example of the, some of the differences that we see between these different breeding lines. This, this plant in my right hand is very early flowering. It's already flowered. Uh, I flowered before December and uh, we've already harvested the seed. This plant on my left is a late flowering plant. It looks like it'll be more productive and be a higher seed producing plant. This is examples of different seed pod types. These we call a loose pod type and you know this is good good seed production type but we may have problems with seed shattering on types like this. This is an example of what we would call a, a leather pod type lab lab and this has the advantage of not having seed shattering so that we could have better seed production higher seed yields. It's hard to describe in, and hard to see in here now all the differences of these different types that we have. The, we started with crosses between one um, anthracnose resistant line and then we crossed that to two different um, germplasm sources so to speak and we have crosses with, with lines that will give us the, the uh, deep rooting perennial types they won't be perennial for us but they'll be deep rooting but the thing that we don't see in here now we've harvested seed off of a lot of these already so you can't you can't see that some of them have already produced a lot of seed some have just now produced green seed and there are very few that are just now flowering so the differences are hard to hard to imagine but really every one of these plants uh, potentially you know could be a new variety I mean it it won't be but but we, we have that to choose from. We have hundreds of plants here that are all different. They, they vary in when they flower, the types of pods they have, the types of seed that they'll produce. And of course, we know that they'll vary in their disease resistance, and that's something that we'll have to select for in the field, and we'll throw away those types that, that still have some susceptibility to uh, fungal diseases. But, but that's, our, that's our point, we'd like to just develop better types, types that will produce more seed, uh, types that will be better forage plants for us here in, in the state.